This week in Visaya Weekly, we learn how to conquer San Francisco. We tune your instrument for perfection. So why did the cup break? This happens thanks to a phenomenon called resonance. When an object is exposed to a pressure wave such as sound, it oscillates. If the frequency of this wave is the same as the natural frequency of the object, the amplitude of oscillation will grow with each cycle, deforming the object to the point of failure, hence the explosive glass cup. I didn't know I have such a powerful voice. Here we have a more catastrophic example of resonance. During a windy day in Tacoma, Washington, around 70 years ago, one of the most spectacular examples of resonance happened. The Tacoma suspended bridge was one of the longest of that time, but unfortunately it lived a short life. Even though relatively slow winds of only 35 miles per hour were blowing, on the 7th of November the bridge collapsed into the water below. This happened because the wind's frequency resonated with the bridge structure. As a result, the bridge oscillated and deformed with each swing. The amplitude of oscillation grew and grew till the point that the support cables gave away in a spectacular manner. So what does this have to do with instrumentation? What we have here is a thermoweb, using pipelines and vessels to protect the temperature sensors, just like this one. The flow rate and speed of processed fluids make the thermoweb oscillate, just like sound and winds did with the glass cup and the suspended bridge. This oscillation, as we have seen, may cause catastrophic failures to the thermoweb, losing not only the temperature measurement, but also causing damages to other components like valves or pumps. Fortunately, there is a way to avoid all this. Thermoweb suppliers offer dimensioning and configuration tools that are able to guide customers and end users selecting the most appropriate shape and size of the thermoweb so that the natural frequency of the thermoweb does not resonate with the frequency of the process fluids. If you want to learn more about thermoweb sizing or configuration, click on the link below. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, remember to give it a thumbs up. I'm publishing a new video every Thursday, so if you want to keep up with Visaya Weekly, subscribe to the channel. Till next time.